Hello and welcome everybody to this episode of Embedded TV. Today we're going to be looking at switching context manually in C. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting functionality. It's based around uh, manual context switching. So you basically just reload the, the program counter and um, you set a new stack pointer and you just switch to another function. And uh, we can do this. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this with signals as well so that you can have like a artificial context switching. It's pretty cool. Um, let's have a look at it. So. We have a um, we have a file here uh, where, by the way, I'm just gonna tell you what the includes are. So we have we have I didn't include the includes, but the includes are uh, basically signal uh, sys slash time uh, dot h and u context dot h um, and um, Basically, we create uh, we're going to create four contexts. We're going to keep a, um, a static global in this case global variable because we're going to we're going to be using a signal to switch between the context. Um, and this is going to be our current context. Um, let's see, okay, let me do it like this. This is going to denote the current context, and this is going to be all of our contexts um, where we're going to be saving the um, the program counter and all the registers, all the CPU registers. And uh, we're going to also have a signal handler, which um, will just print out switch and um, we'll basically switch context to the next context and, um, and call swap context uh, with uh, current context and next context. So uh, the current registers are going to be put into the current context and the, the registers from the next context are going to be loaded into the, uh, into the state of the processor. And we will just continue in the next function um, for the next context. And so um, then we just create a, a number of functions here. I chose four functions because um, I can just use a, sort of a rollover uh, using, using the AND operator here. So I just, I just count up and then I just roll over to, the, to, to zero again. Um, so it's just a matter of convenience. I could have chosen two as well, but I chose four because it's a little bit more fun. Um, then we have uh, main where we just um, uh, we set the stack size, which we're going to use for our, uh, for our th threads. They're not real threads, but they're kind of like artificial threads. Uh, and um, I allocate the stack here on, on the stack. Uh, so we have four stacks, uh, one for each function. We have, um, I, I create this array of function pointers here just so I can index the functions. Um, so it's easier to index them. Uh, and then I um, also create the context. Uh, this is for the, for the main function. We actually just switch uh, context from the uh, we, we call a swap context in the end here where we save the registers into main and then we load the first uh, context for the first function and we never actually exit this function because we never switch back to context main. Um, but uh, first of all, we have to initialize the context. Uh, so I have uh, four, four contexts in this case. I set the, uh, the CTX to zero and I, um, uh, I call get context for that context. Um, to kind of load the default uh, values into this uh, into the u context variable, uh, then I set the stack pointer to uh, to the stack which is going to be allocated for this particular function, uh, and I st set the stack size as well, and then I link the context to the next context um, to basically next context in the list, and and then I uh, call make context um, and supply the function which is going to be um, which is going to be my um, the function is going to run uh, when we switch to the context for the first time. And uh, then we register the, the signal handler here. So the our signal handler is basically going to be our uh, context switching interrupt. Uh, so um, we will we will call the the signal handler is going to be called called by the operating system when the timer expires and every time the signal handler is going to be called we're going to switch context to the next function. So um, uh, I basically initialize a signal handler. I set um, I, I don't mask any any signals. I set the signal action as the signal handler, and I specify that we want to use sig info. So basically, it's gonna it's gonna use uh, sa sig action instead of sa handler um, as the signal handler. 
uh, and then I set the signal to sig alarm and sig alarm is going to be generated whenever a timer expires and then we after we've done that we also have to uh, initialize a timer and so I initialize a timer um, timer value I set the uh, the starting the starting point to zero and then I set um, the interval to one second so so the timer will fire right away and then uh, it will fire every second uh, after that and then I call set timer uh, set i timer just to set the timer so that I initialize the first timer uh, and then I swap context to the first function and so when the timer uh, when the timer triggers we're going to switch context to the next function and so on and so uh, the output we're going to get looks like this So the output we're going to get looks like this. We're going to run the first function first. We're going to switch. Then, then the second function will start. So um, you see it, it's going to print uh, started like this. It's going to print uh, started. So it's text here. And then it's going to then each function is going to enter a, um, a, an endless loop. And um, the cool thing here is that we actually switch to the second function, we run the third function, we run the fourth function, and then we, uh, for all subsequent context switches, we just switch to the uh, to whatever function uh, is is running. So we switch right into this while loop here. So we effectively have created um, artificial threads, um, and um, that's how you do it in C. So. Uh, you can uh, copy this code. Uh, it's actually a good learning experience to to just copy this code manually, so you understand what the, every part of this code does, and uh, then you can just play with it. I hope you learned something, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.